The war of 1948 resulted in the displacement of over 700,000 Palestinians. Their displacement became a significant source of friction between Israel and the Arab world as the displaced Palestinians sought to return to their homes. This issue continues to fuel tension in the region today. Established in 1948, the new state was met with widespread opposition from the Arab world. The Arab leaders viewed the formation of a Jewish state on what they considered Arab territory as a direct threat to their national interests. This perceived threat laid the groundwork for the conflicts that would follow. The Arab world has long demanded Jerusalem to be an Arab city while the Israelis have claimed it as their capital. This has resulted in an enduring conflict over the city's rightful ownership. The Jordan River, a crucial water source for Israel and its Arab neighbors, has been a point of contention. The Arab world has accused Israel of unfairly diverting water from the river. In contrast, Israel has maintained that it requires the water to cater to its growing population's needs. The Golan Heights, a strategic plateau overlooking northern Israel, has been a hotbed of conflict. The Arab world demands its return to Syria, while Israel firmly refuses, citing strategic reasons. The Arab-Israeli war was triggered by a combination of factors, each contributing to the overall conflict in its unique way. From the Palestinian refugee crisis to the creation of the State of Israel, the dispute over Jerusalem, the conflict over water resources, and the tension surrounding the Golan Heights, each factor has played a significant role in shaping the course of this historic conflict. These causes, deeply rooted in history, politics, and culture, continue to influence the region's dynamics. They provide an essential context to understand the ongoing tensions and conflicts that have marked the Middle East. Understanding these causes is crucial to make sense of this complex region and its pivotal role in world affairs.